Greeting students and welcome back to the English class. Uh, what we were doing, we have com completed the chapter and we had revised through a PPT. Now we will be doing question and answers. Okay, so we are not afraid to die question and answers from the text solve. Okay, understanding the text. Now it says list the steps taken by the captain. To protect the ship when rough weather began, to check the flooding of the water in the ship. ठीक है? क्या steps क्या लिए गए थे captain से to protect the ship जब weather बहुत ज़्यादा ख़राब होने लग गया था और to check the flooding of the water in the ship. Now, in order to protect the ship from rough weather, the captain decided to slow it down. ठीक है तो शिप को क्या करना शुरू कर दिया उसको स्लो करना शुरू कर दिया किस चीज को शिप को सो ही ड्रॉप द स्टॉम जिप एंड लैश्ड हेवी मोरिंग रोप इन अ लूप अक्रॉस द स्टेम ओके देन दे डबल फास्टेंड एवरीथिंग एंड वेंट थ्रू देयर लाइफ राफ्ट ड्रिल ठीक है सो व्हाट व्हाट डिड दे डू दे स्टार्टेड टू यू नो लैश द हेवी मूविंग रोप्स ठीक है जो रोप्स थी जिससे वो मास्ट अटैच्ड था राइट right? उसको क्या करना शुरू कर दिया डबल करना शुरू कर दिया टाइट करना शुरू कर दिया देन दे डबल फास्ट एंड एवरी थिंग एंड वेन थ्रू देयर लाइफ राफ ड्रिल जो उन्होंने सीखी थी याद है पहले प्रैक्टिस uh, में तो उसको लाइफ राफ ड्रिल में यू नो फिर से उस चीज में आना शुरू हो गए to check the flooding of the water in the ship larry and herb kaun the ye do crewmen the started pumping out water kyunki pani niche upar se to jo stab hoti thi wo kya ho gaya wo kharab ho gayi thi but usme canvas ka cloth lag gaya tha but niche se jahan par keel hoti hai wahan par se bhi chhota sa hole ho gaya tha jisse kya ho raha tha pani aa raha tha so the captain stretched canvas and secured waterproof hatch कवर्स अक्रॉस दी गैपिंग होल जो मैंने अभी बताया वेन द टू हैंड पम्प ब्लॉक्ड एंड इलेक्ट्रिक पम्प शॉर्ट सर्किटेड ही फाउंड अनादर इलेक्ट्रिक पम्प कनेक्टेड टू कनेक्टेड इट टू एन आउट पाइप एंड स्टार्टेड इट तो जब सारे के सारे जो इलेक्ट्रिक पम्प थे वो शॉर्ट सर्किट हो गए थे क्यों क्योंकि बहुत ज़्यादा पानी भर गया था राइट right? और uh, जब ऐसा हुआ तो उन्होंने एक और इलेक्ट्रिक uh, पम्प था जो चार्ट रूम में था उसको uh, मिलने के बाद उससे कनेक्ट करके पानी बाहर निकाल दिया था Now describe the mental uh, condition of the voyages on फोर्थ and फिफ्थ January. On फोर्थ January the voyagers voyagers जो कि उसमें ship में थे ठीक है felt relieved after थर्टी सिक्स hours of continuous pumping out water they had their first meal in almost टू days their respite was short lived they they faced dangerous situation on January फाइव fear of death loomed large they were under great mental stress now next question describe the shifts in the narration of the event as indication in the third section of the text give a subtitle to each the sec to each section the first section describes a peaceful journey from plymouth england to 3500 km east to cape town africa the narrator is relaxed and full of confidence as the weather deteriorated ठीक है उसके बाद वेदर क्या होने लग गया डिटोरिएट होने लग गया खराब होने लग गया दे फेस जाइगेंटिक वेव्स जाइगेंटिक बहुत बड़े दे टुक प्रिकॉशंस टू सेव देम सेल्स एंड स्ट्रगल विद द डिजास्टर द नरेशन बिकेम ग्रिम इट बट इट एक्सूड्स द फाइटिंग स्पिरिट कॉन्फिडेंस एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग विल पावर बाय द मॉर्निंग ऑफ जनवरी सिक्स वे वॉकर रोड आउट द स्टॉम एंड बाय इवनिंग दे साइटेड आइल एम्स्टरडाम आइलैंड नाउ चिल्ड्रेन हियर इट इज आइल ओके वेट जस्ट लेट मी डू दिस 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 इज नॉट ही दिस इज आई एल ई दैट इज आइल एम्स्टरडाम आइलैंड ओके नेक्स्ट the narration is also relaxed joy relief and complete confidence are apparent the subtitle of each section is section 1 cheerful joy section 2 facing the wave 
एंड सेक्शन थ्री सर्चिंग दी आईलैंड है ना जब हमने पढ़ा था पूरी जो स्टोरी थी देवर लाइन्स है ना लाइन डिवाइड कर दिया गया था कि ये सेक्शन वन है सेक्शन टू है या सेक्शन थ्री है तो पहला क्या था चेयरफुल जर्नी सेक्शन सेक्शन टू फेसिंग द वेव सेक्शन थ्री सर्चिंग द आइलैंड नाउ लेट अस सी टॉकिंग अबाउट द टेक्स्ट डिस्कस द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चंस विद योर पार्टनर ओके What difference did you notice between the reaction of the adults and the children when faced with danger? There is lot of difference between the way in which the adults and the children reacted when faced with danger. बहुत difference था adults के में और children में. The adults felt the stress of the circumstances but prepared themselves to face the danger. जो adults थे जो बड़े थे वो क्या करते बहुत ज़्यादा stress में रहते obviously because they were going to die. They took sufficient precaution to protect the ship. Enough, the rough weather began. They equipped everyone with lifelines, waterproof clothes, and life jackets. Larry and Herb worked cheerfully and opti um, optimistically, okay, for three days continuously to pump out water from the ship. Now, my Mary replaced the narrator at the wheel when the deck was smashed and stirred the ship. So, बड़ो ने क्या किया? Larry और Herb थे जो दो crewmen थे पूरे time पानी बाहर निकालने में कर रह गए और Mary ने क्या करा? वो जो wheel होता है ना जो direction देता है उसको stir कर रहे थे. She also served them meal after two days of struggle against odds. So, उसने क्या करा? खाना भी दिया. The narrator performed his role as captain with courage, determination, resourcefulness, and full responsibility. He undertook repair work and provided apparatus and direction needed to protect the ship. He also helped in steering the ship towards the island. The children suffered silently and patiently. Because जहाँ पर सू का देखते हैं उसको बहुत ज़्यादा चोट लग गई थी सर के ऊपर एंड देवर डार्क सर्कल्स राउंड हर आई एंड प्लस देर वॉज अूज कट इन इन हर आर्म सो शी डि नॉट टेल हर फादर बिकॉज ही बिकॉज शी टोल दैट मे बी ही इज एक्चुअली यू नो ये सारे क्या है परेशान हो जाएंगे मेरी वजह से Sue did not want to bother her father with her troubles. John acted courageously. He was not afraid to die if all of them perished together. Right? Now, what does the story suggest? The optimism helps to endure the direct stress. Okay. How does the story suggest that optimism, positivity, helps to endure the uh, direct stress? Okay. What is it? um sorry direct uh, stress the story suggests that optimism certainly helps to endure the direct stress the behavior of the four adults during crisis bears it out L larry vigil and herb uh, selgirl were two crewmen okay pata hai as the mighty wave smashed the deck mighty wave jo hit kara hai deck ko water entered the ship through many holes and openings Right from the evening of January two, Larry and Herb started pumping out water. They worked continuously, excitedly, and feverishly for thirty-six hours. So, how many hours did they pump water? Thirty-six hours. It was the result of their continuous pumping that they reached the last few centimeters of water on January fourth. They remained cheerful and optimistic while facing extremely dangerous situation. The narrator did not lose his courage. ठीक है और नरेटर भी बोलते हैं जो कैप्टन थे उन्होंने भी क्या करा अपना करेज लूज नहीं किया. Hope and presence of mind while facing problems. He did not worry about the loss of equipment. He used whatever was available there. His self-confidence and practical knowledge helped them to stir out the storm and reach the uh, Isle Amsterdam Island. Okay, so again, this word uh, "reach" the line is here. This is the year. It is I L E. Okay. Um, Now Mary stayed at the wheel for those crucial hours. She did not lose hope or courage either. Question number three: What lessons do we learn from such hazardous experience when we are face to face with death? Now, hazardous experience uh, may bring 
us face to face with death but they impart us many important lessons of conduct life is not always a bed of roses theek hai life is uh, not a bed of roses matlab aisa nahi hai ki life pure roses ki tarah phool ki tarah we must react to dangers and risk with patience and fortitude adversity is the rest, true test of character the purity of gold is judged by putting it in fire the by putting it on fire the hazardous experience bring out the best in us coward person darpok uh, jise bolenge die many times before his death fear is a negative feeling and leads to inactivity and abject surrender to circumstances such sailors or soldiers lose the battle against the odds in life on the other hand children persons with self confidence courage resourcefulness and presence of mind face all dangers boldly and overcome all disasters the sharing and caring attitude inspires other also to face the adverse circumstances boldly and tide over them now uh, why do you think people undertake such adventurous expedition in spite of the risk involved man is an ad, uh, adventurous by nature the greater the risk the more the thrill theek hai jitna risk loge utna thrilling hoga the thrill of exploring unknown lands discovering wealth and beauty lying hidden in far off land and inspires brave hearts to stake their life to rest and repose perhaps the value one crowded are of glory more than a long uneventful life of sloth and inactivity it is true sorry it is true that sometimes adventures are quite risky and prove fatal fatal koi mar bhi sakta hai theek hai the failure uh, the failures of uh, some persons do not daunt yet discourage the real lovers of adventure they draw lessons from the shortcomings and errors of others and make fresh attempts with greater zeal theek hai part of the charm of an adventurous expeditions lie in adapting oneself to the circumstances and overcoming the odds the success of an adventurous expedition bring name fame and wealth history books are re- uh, replete with accounts of famous explorer like columbus vasco da gama captain cook and captain scout now what uh, we are not afraid to die thinking about language okay this is the third part from your book it says we have come across words like gale and storm in the account here are some more words for storms like uh, typhoon cycle uh, cyclone how many words does your language have for storms our language have following words for storm that is aandhi toofan theek hai jhanjhavat and chakravat okay so we can uh, write all these because obviously we will be in uh, in uh, will be writing in hindi here are some names for different kinds of vessels that were used to travel on uh, water yacht boat canoe um ship streamer uh, snoo uh, schooner think of similar words in your language okay similar words of the vessels that are used to travel on water are nauka nav port and jahaj right uh, cutter uh, sorry catamaran is a kind of a boat do you know which indian language this word is derived from check the dictionary the word catamaran is derived from tamil which it means tied wood catamaran uh, is a yacht okay or other boat with twin hulls in parallel the dictionary defines it as a fast sailing boat with two hulls Have you ever heard a boatman's songs? What kind of emotion do these songs usually express? Right. So yes, these songs call upon other sailors to awake, arise, and set out um of the sea to explore its rich um wealth. These songs are full of inspiration and provide moral support to the sad and disappointed boatmen. 
now working with words the following words used in the text are uh, ship terminology are also commonly used in another sense in what context would you use the other meanings like not okay a in tripping rope a joint made by tying uh, together two pieces of ends of string rope etc to tie a knot of hair a way of twisting hair into a small round shape at the back of the he uh, head right next she had her hair in a loose knot theek okay? hai uh, in wood a hard round spot in a piece of wood where there was one branch okay once a branch sorry group of people a small group of people standing close together little knots of students uh, had gathered at the gale right of muscles a tight hard feeling in the stomach throat caused by nerves and angers now next we have see next we have stern okay but the spelling is yes it's s t e r n stern i could feel a knot of fear in my throat serious and often uh, disapproving expecting somebody to obey you his voice was stern strict jise bolte hain serious and difficult we faced a stern opposition right children so uh, sorry here we have stern so this is stern is s t e r n okay this is stern okay now next word we have boom in business economy a sudden increase in trade and economy activity a period of wealth and success a boom is a mobile phone sales a boom jise bolte hain jahan par 100% employment hota hai beta jis country mein jis economy mein 100% employment hoga ठीक है लोगों के पास नौकरी होगी वेल लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड होगा राइट एंड देर इकॉनमी वुड बी यू नो राइजिंग दैट इज बूम पॉपुलर पीरियड अ पीरियड व्हेन समथिंग सच एज स्पॉट और अ टाइप ऑफ म्यूजिक सडनली बिकम्स वेरी पॉपुलर एंड सक्सेस द ओनली वे टू सेटिस्फाई क्रिकेट बूम वाज टू प्रोवाइड मेनी प्ले ग्राउंड साउंड अलाउड अलाउड डीप sound the distant boom of the guns in river harbor a floating barrier that is placed across a river or the entrance to a harbor to prevent ships or other objects from coming in or going out for microphone a long pole that covers carries a microphone hatch an opening in a wall between two rooms especially a kitchen and a dining room through which food can be passed example a serving hatch a door is an aircraft or a spacecraft an escape hatch an opening or a door in a floor or ceiling a hatch at the attic attic ka hota hai jo um kai bar gharon ke upar beta not gharon ke upar but then ek room ke andar upar stairs hota hai chhota sa room banaya jata hai that is an attic to make a young bird fish insect come out of an egg hatch to create a plane or idea specially in secret a person or thing that gives somebody a feeling of safety the anchor of the family anchor to fix something firmly in position so that it could move make sure the apparatus is um, securely anchored the, to firmly base something on uh, something on something else munshi premchand novels uh, are anchored in rural life to be the person who introduced reports or reads the newspaper on television or radio she anchored the evening news for 5 yes now the following three compound words end in ship what does each of them mean airship flagship and lightship airship a large aircraft without wings filled with the gas with a lighter than air and driven by engines flagship the main ship in a fleet of ships in the navy the most important product serving building that an organization owns and produces a company is opening a new flagship store in gurgaon lightship a small ship that um, 
stays at a particular place at sea and that has powerful light on it to warn and guide other ships now let's do question number three what does it there the following are the meaning listed in the dictionary against the phrase take on locate the meaning in which it is used in the third paragraph of the account that is on page 19 take on something to begin um sorry to begin to have a particular quality or appearance to, to assume something okay so in the third paragraph the account take on is used to in the sense of take uh, on something on okay somebody on sorry that is to employ somebody to engage somebody the words we took are on two crew, crewmen to help us right now uh, things to do okay here is a picture of a yacht. Label the parts um, that help the words given in the box. Now, where is it? this is the mainsail, mast, boom, cockpit, right? Stern, uh, rudder, cabin, and uh, this is if anybody asks you, this is a keel. What is it? K E E L, keel, right? Are you. Uh, if it is not you know properly available let me give you another picture of it just give me a two now children can you see the mast mainsail boom cockpit stern uh, rubber cabin and bow okay are you uh, can you see now the picture is clear uh, it was uh, you know the it was not colorful so you know you couldn't understand anything now can you understand now uh, write it in your write it there okay okay now children let us carry on with short question and answers what did the narrator plan to do what preparation did he make for it the narrator planned to go on a round the world sea voyage on the same pattern as Kim, uh, Captain James Cook had gone 200 years earlier. For the past 16 years, he and his wife had spent all their leisure time, free time, developing and improving their skills with work related to travel on the sea. What? Give a brief description on narrator's boat. We had uh, How had the narrator equipped and tested it? The narrator boat was called Wave Walker. Okay, it was a beautiful twenty-three meter long, thirty-ton wooden hulled ship. It it had been professionally built. They had spent months fitting it out and testing in the roughest weather they could find. How long did the narrator plan this voyage to last? The narrator had planned his voyage, the world journey, to cover one lakh five thousand kilometers in three years. When and with whom did the narrator begin his voyage? The narrator began his voyage in January 1976. He had his wife Mary, six-year-old son Jonathan and seven-year-old daughter Susan with him. They set sail from Plymouth, England. Whom did the narrator employ and why and why did he do so? The narrator employed two crewmen, that is American Larry Vigil and Swiss Herb Segrill okay in order to help them tackle the southern indian ocean which is known as one of the roughest seas in the world he uh, engaged them uh, before leaving cape town what happened on the second day out with the cape town what uh, what worried the narrator and why on the second day out of the cape town they began to face uh, strong uh, uh, strong storms these storms blew continuously for the next few weeks he was worried about the waves uh, their size was alarming they rose up to 15 meters as high as the main mast how did they celebrate the christmas holidays they were 3500 kilometers east of cape town on 25 december the weather was very bad still they had a wonderful holiday complete with a christmas tree new year's day was no improvement in weather why did the weather change on january 2 how did they feel the weather changed for worse on january 2 now the waves were gigantic as the ship rose 
to the top of each wave, they saw endless numerous seas rolling towards them. The screaming of the wind and spray was painful to the ears. What efforts were made to face the rough weather? In order to face the rough weather, the speed of the ship was slowed down. They, uh, they dropped the storm jib. They lashed heavy mooring ropes in a loop across the stern. Stern, And this is not stem, children. This is stern. What is it? S-T-E-R-N. Stern. Right? Then they fast, no, fastened together everything and went through their life raft drill. The they attached lifelines but put on a uh, waterproof clothes and a life jacket. What sort of weight hit the ship? Why did the narrate? Uh, how did the narrator react? It was a mighty and huge wave. It appeared perfectly vertical. It was almost twice the height of other waves. It had very unpleasant breaking crest. The narrator had never seen such a new, an enormous wave, so he had filled with horror. What was the impact of torrent on the narrator and wave walker? A tremendous explosion shook the deck. The narrator's head stuck the wheel and flew over the board and was sinking below the waves. Unexpectedly, his head came out of the water. Wave walker was almost capsizing. His mast was almost horizontal. Okay, what did the narrator, uh, how did the narrator manage to survive through the attacks of subsequent waves? One of the waves threw the ship upright. The narrator was able to reach its main boom. Um, sub subsequent waves tossed him around the deck like a rag doll. He, uh, his uh, left ribs cracked. His mouth was filled with blood and broken teeth. Right? Somehow he found the wheel lined up the stern. Again, the word out here is stern. S-T-E-R-N. Stern. Right? Okay, now next. How did the narrator and other members react to the presence of water in the ship? The narrators could not leave the wheel to examine the damaged parts. Mary shouted that the decks were broken and they were sinking. Larry and Herb were pumping out water like ma madmen. Sue had a big bump over her eyes, but the children said that they were all all right. I had no time to worry about the bumped head, said the narrator. What problem do you think uh, deserved his be uh, immediate attention? The starboard uh, side had been stuck open. They were taking in more water with every wave breaking over them. If he did not make some repairs urgently, they would sink. So the narrator managed to cover the gapping holes with canvas and waterproof hatch covers. The problems with the narrator faced during the night of January 2, 1977. The hand pumps started to block up and the debris, now we will not call it debris, we will call it debris, okay, floating around the cabins. The electric pump was short-circuited. The water level rose threateningly. The two spare hand pumps had been wrenched overboard. The waves had also carried away the forestay, sail, the jib, the dinghies and the main anchor of the ship. Dinghies are the small boats. Okay? They are known as the dinghies. What did the narrator, uh, sorry, how did the narrator react with the problems? What does it reveal? The narrator does not lose his calm and courage in, in, in the face of problems. He thought calmly. Then he remembered that they had another electric pump another uh, uh, under the chart room floor. He found it in the working order. So they were not getting any re reply to their distress radio signals. Um, he was not surprised as they were in remote uh, corner. This is not corner. This is corner. Here we have remote corner of the world, right? I did not want to worry you when you were trying to save us all. 
said Sue. What does uh, what has happened to her? Sue's head had a bump. It had it had swelling alarmingly. She had two enormous black eyes. She also had a deep cut in her arm. She also she did not bother her daddy about her injuries as she was busy in her more important task. Why do you think the narrator searched for an eyelid so eagerly? The wave that hit Wave Walker had caused intense damage. Nearly all the boat's main frames had been smashed down the. Uh, keel right so the whole section um, uh, of the starboard hull was being held up by a few cupboard partitions so wave walker could not hold long enough to them to reach australia so he reached for an I uh, island to repair the boat how could they not set any sail on the main mast on january f uh, 4 The hull of the ship had been damaged badly. Pressure on the rope supporting the mast and sails would simply pull the damaged section of the hull apart. So they hoisted the strong jib and headed towards the island. How did the little Jonathan react to the desperate situation they found themselves in on January five? Jonathan asked his daddy if they were going to die. The narrator tried uh, to assure him that they would overcome the situation. Then little John um declared bravely that he was not afraid to die provided they all could um, be together. How did the narrator respond to the little Joe's words? What does his action reveal about his character? He could not find proper words to respond however he felt inspired to fight the sea and everything he had he decided to stop the ship and protect the weakened starboard side so uh, he did so um, that with an improv improvised anchor to heavy nylon ropes and two and 22 liter plastic barrels of paraffins okay this shows a resourcefulness and determination right uh, why, when do you think mary and the narrator feel the end was near why did they feel so uh, on the evening of 5th january 1977 mary and narrator felt that the end was very near they sat together holding hands movement of the ship brought in more and more water through the broken plants optimism and courage helped to uh, tide over difficulties how did the narrator succeed in searching the small island the narrator was searching for a 65 km wide island in an ocean of 150000 km he worked up up optimistically optimistically sorry on wind speeds change of course drift and current he calculated the position with the help of sextant also how did sue try to uh, enliven in the gloomy atmosphere sue forgot her swollen head and blackened eyes and prepared a funny card on the front it had caricatures of mary and the narrator he called them funny people she called them funny people who made uh, who made um, her laugh she also had a ma message uh, it expressed her love thanks and uh, good wishes the narrator to, uh, says i told him with a conviction i did not feel what led uh, him to believe so the narrator had lost their main uh, compass he was using a spare one he had not uh, been corrected of for magnetic variations uh, he had to make alliance for this as well as for the influence of the westerly currents though he checked and rechecked his calculation he was not sure it depended on luck as well what gloomy thoughts um, occurred to the narrator what pleasant surprises was in store for him the narrator thought that they might have missed the island they couldn't hope to beat back into westerly winds with the sail they had been left when jonathan asked him the best uh, him the best daddy sorry when jonathan called him the best daddy in the world and the best captain and asked uh, for a hug he refused to do but when sue remarked that he had found the island he felt surprised why did sue 
सॉरी वट डिड सू टेल हर डैडी अबाउट द आईलैंड एंड वट डिड ई नोटिस हिमसेल्फ सू टोल्ड हर डैडी दैट द आईलैंड वॉज अ बिग एज अ बैरल शिप एंड इट वॉज आउट देर इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम द नरेटर गेस्ड एट इट कम्प्लीट आउटलाइन इट वॉज बेर पीस ऑफ वर्ल्ड के नो रॉक विद लिल वेजिटेशन डू यू थिंक डिड द नरेटर कॉल आइल एम्स्टरडैम द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल आइलैंड वाई डू यू थिंक नाउ दिस इज आइल इट इज आई एल ई ओके नाउ चिल्ड्रेन आइल एम्स्टरडैम वॉज अ वेरी स्मॉल आइलैंड मेड ऑफ वॉल कैनो रॉक इट हैड लिल वेजिटेशन एंड ओनली ट्वेंटी एट हैबिटेंस इनहेबिटेंस हाउ एवर द आईलैंड प्रोवाइडेड दैम सेफ्टी फ्रॉम द ह्यूज वेव्स ऑफ द सी एंड एज वेल एज अपॉर्चुनिटी टू रिपेयर द डैमेज शिप नाउ थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ऑल्सो